All right, guys, today we're going to talk about the Palawaran and how to make it work, how to command it, how to play it, what are the best strategies, in my opinion, uh, how to make it easy, how to make it fast. Okay, so especially because there's a bug right now happening uh, at the uh, end of the meta and how to deal with it. And if, let's say, there wasn't any bugs, how to deal with it, well, if they fix it. Well, first of all, the event starts at XX45, so essentially on the hour at 45 minutes and um, every two hours and essentially what happens is that you start on the gate of Plauran there's two big 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 bosses the big 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 bosses that um they do some mechanics but overall they just you know step out of the circle essentially and um if you kill one faster than the other the, uh, the other one starts reviving reviving the fallen teammate so you kind of want to kill them around the same time now if you fuck it up it doesn't really matter uh, it doesn't really matter because they rest really, really slowly, so it's okay if, uh, if you kill one of them faster than the other one. It, it, you'll probably be fine, right? Now, for this meta, I think it's very, very good to bring uh, stability because the little mini bosses around the, the city uh, do this little swirly thing, this little circle thing that starts pulling you over and moving you around, and at the end, uh, it explodes. And it uh, kills you, right? It, it, it downstates you, uh, and it's very bad. Now, the other thing that you should do is bring a lot of CC to CC it instead of, you know, so you don't get um, you don't get blown up, but also you can bring stability and move outside of the circle as well. Now, both of them probably is what you want to do. And on that, you just, you know, you bring a lot of uh, damage, uh, a lot of like uh, boons, quickness, alacrity, everything, and uh, you'll kill everything. Right? Wanna, you want to go start here, right? Start here where the bosses are. And then move around towards this, hit this place where there's some uh, events going on. Then move around, pick the supply stashes that are apparently randomly in these places, because uh, that's where you get the loot. There's a lot of loot there. Uh, and then you go over here. There's another capture point that you have to do. Now remember, you have to only capture the point. You don't really have to kill everything on it. It doesn't work as normal points where you only capture it if. Uh, there's no enemies in there as long as you're in there you'll capture the point so let's say you can actually capture a point when when and and there'll still be uh, mobs there so you can actually just capture a point and straight up go to get in your uh, stashes around here and around here and then go to the next mini boss there's two on this up on top of the stairs and four on uh, three in each of the directions one here one here one here on down in the the main floor right two on the top and three here right and there's a last one there's one another one there now for the mobs here you want to pull them together you hit and why why do i mean that by that you you aggro them by attacking once and they start moving towards the center so you can pull them up all together and then you can clear them now it's very very hard to do this you can't do it and it's hard in the way that it's not as easy to do and in the way it is hard it's not that uh, you have to do a lot it's just that the mobs sometimes don't don't respond as you think it is so you just try it once uh try see if they come in and if not well sad i uh, just have to continue normally and just uh, attack them individually right you can also pull the ones on the top and there's two ways you can do this right you can pull them they both together and the on the on the on the second floor and like drag them down on the second floor and just Pull, um, kill them together or you can grab them and um, kite them through the stairs for them to come down and uh, attack uh, and uh, kill them with the main ones in the main floor right both of them are good strategies and you pick your uh, pick one both are pretty kind of hard to, for them to work pick the one you want now for the last one you, the one here for the last one it's just better to leave them there there's no point in moving it because at the end of the day you're still gonna have to go there and pick the supply stash and get the supply stash now, for the supply stashes, I recommend just, you know, killing everything and then picking, picking them up. Because you're going to have to go move to the statue anyways. You move to the statue. And um, and you kill the statue. That's very easy. You just kill it and grab the stash and move to the next place. Now, the next place is here, around here. And in the next place, uh, it's the same as before. You just capture the point, get the stashes. That's essentially what it is. There's another point here that you have to capture. No point, and, and that point is the same as the one before. You just do it very fast, and then the gates for the harbor uh, open, and the ships come in. Now, for the ships, there are three ships, right? Uh, the one uh, in the south, the one in the middle, and the one in the north. Now, 
right now as we speak the middle one is bucked and you cannot get on top of it now usually what you would do the best strategy is when it's not bugged is just you know go for one go for the first ship in the south one go in get on top of it and just hit it with your, with your abilities and you know kill it now uh the second one the same then the third one the same you do this then you go back to the harbor and pick all the chests now this is impossible as we speak this does not work so what we would want at this point guys what we do want at this point is a little bit of a strategy i have uh, that i'll explain right now oh guys the uh <laughs> the bug on palawaran was fixed today so you no longer need our need of the range strats Therefore, uh, you just can get in, get in each of the ships, one at a time, starting on the south one, then go to the middle one, and go to the north one, and then gather all the stashes, instead of, you know, going to the dock and shooting with range to kill the middle one. So it's much faster, much easier, and good that they... Um, it's good that they uh, fixed it. Sadly, uh, I was gonna release the video today, well, uh, it's today now, right? I was gonna released the video before uh, but I had to delay it because uh, they changed it <laughs> and for the last one now for the last one you know you go to your stashes you, you get your stashes in the harbor after the, the ships and uh, you go towards the last boss now for this boss it's pretty easy necessarily it's a uh, it's pretty easy, pretty easy it's pretty straightforward it's kind of a it works pretty similarly to the bosses that uh, you find uh, in during the, the, the raid, right? So during the raid of Palawaran. And it has this little circle that pulls you over. There's a lot of mobs that are also around there. And the thing is, uh, the main two things is that, you know, there's this little circle that it draws you in. And you have to see it, so in order to it doesn't kill you. And also you can do a lot more damage to the boss. And the second thing is that um, from time to time he will link himself towards certain mobs with a gray beam and this beam if it completes right it will heal him you don't want that so you want to you know when that happens you just go to little mini uh, ads they're really easy to kill you can do them by yourself and just kill them very fast so he doesn't heal and then go back to the boss and just kill it and that's essentially it really uh after that there's a little phase where you go around and pick stashes um and and get your reward I uh, usually don't do this because at that time I have to go to Tequadal really, really fast because we barely make it towards Tequadal. Uh, but the rest of the meta, uh, the rest of the the squad goes in in there and it picks everything up. And that's that's around. around. I, uh, that, that's about it. I uh, I hope Aaron fixes it eventually. But hey, it's fun as it is right now, anyways, and it's very, very profitable. Even though you might actually think it's not, it gives you a lot of unit. Uh, unit identified gear, uh, so it's very, very, uh, it's a good, it's a good amount of gold for just one event, and it's pretty funny, man. Now, thank you for watching. I'll continue to do this for uh, 
every um, every event, every meta that uh, I do during my meta and uh, the, the, the metas that I, I know how to, they work. And uh, yeah, I could go to my stream to do my meta 20 gold per hour, 90 to 80 gold for the whole run, pretty good. And I can also teach you how to do soul groups if you want. I can just teach you on the stream and then give you lieutenant for you to try it out and practice on it. So come in here, do it. Subscribe to YouTube, subscribe to my Twitch. You can also uh, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. Instagram for more live, live, live IRL things and music. And Twitter, just to know when I'm streaming or what is happening in my life. Okay, so have a great one, guys. Love you all. Have a great one. Bye bye. See you around.